Hey y'all, Iron here, and today we are back with Construction Simulator. So I know we've been kind of on a hiatus with this game, but we're firing it back up and we're getting back into it. So today what we're going to actually do is work on one of the main campaign missions here. And I decided I'm just going to try the Maritime Tourism, and we're going to work on this boardwalk. So looks like we need to have a meeting. Um, oh, we need to use a dozer today to flatten the land. Uh, get everything ready for constructions. Oh, rollers too. So it seems like we're going to be doing a lot of flattening and then it looks like concrete and structures. Okay. So yeah, we got a little bit of work to do here. A lot of work actually. So we'll actually accept this job here and we'll get to it. So we need to go speak with somebody and wow, they are down there. So let's take a look. Yeah, they are down here. So let's just try this. I'm not gonna walk that whole way. All right, and we are here. So let's see, we need to speak with somebody. Where are you at? Well, the game wants me to like run around over there, but here's a dot, so. Be a weird uh, construction guy, just run up to you. I'd be like, hey, I heard you need a job. <laughs> Don't even give them a chance. Don't have a company truck or anything. Hi, I'm happy to see a new face in the industry. I was hired to establish beach tourism for the city as a secure source of revenue and to draw upscale beach visitors and vacationers here. Oh, fun. It's a long-term investment and an opportunity to make this city more attractive to its many residents again. Together, okay, yeah. We'll make a few changes to transform this bleak place into a beach paradise with recreational offers. Sounds good, but your glasses are very uh This beach used to be noted in every tourist guide a lot in of this country. Polygons in it. It's been a popular meeting place oh, for no. a stroll along the water. Now, the glamour of the old days has faded. All right, so this place is just beat up and needs redone, huh? It's the same. Everywhere there are sandy paths, dirt and decay. Oh my gosh. I'm happy that your company is accepting One of the four horsemen decays here, huh? Back to life. All right, so she's all excited. She wants us to really build this place up, huh? So let's see here. Uh, we need to flatten this, so we need a dozer. All right, uh, we can do that. Let's uh, see here. Grab a dozer out of here. Uh, let's see. What would this be? Oh, just dozers. Uh, anything in particular? Oh, these are graders, so these are the dozers. All right, let's see here. Uh, there are, this one's just a little bit cheaper. I wonder why it's recommending the cheaper one. Let's try, though. Seems like it's a small guy, and it kind of concerns me there. All right, so we'll hop in it, and we'll actually just... Uh, Fast travel it down because I am not going to drive this thing the whole way there. I'll eat the thousand dollars for that. All right. Uh, so let's see here. Now I've never worked with the dozer before, so I assume this is going to be fun. Um, so I have no way of using these, so I'm going to have to use. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So for this guy, I gotta use my numpad and the arrow keys. All right, so let's see here. Do we kind of just push it out of the way then? Oh, geez. Oh, we were going up a big hill on. All right, let's just try like, let's just try something like this. Oh, I see, I pushed the blades that way. When I should be a little more straight on because we're just trying to push stuff down. And we'll do this in no particular order, so if you have OCD, just bail out now. Because one thing I'm not worried about is doing this in no particular order. Alright, let's fix that. Okay. So now the blade's down to the ground. So hopefully that's a little bit better. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to try to attack these humps for the most part. 
And we'll kind of just move as we see fit. Especially taking on this big guy right here. Now it looks like a dinosaur, uh, like a, uh, oh, I can't, a stegosaurus. Looks like a stegosaurus right there. There we go. Oh, it's not happy. So let's back up and then we'll keep working on uh, knocking this dinosaur down right here. Looking good. All right, we'll go back to this big mound right here. We'll kind of just try to chip this away. We're not going to tackle it head on just yet. And there we go. All right, so we're about 64% done. Not too bad. Uh, nice and simple to do this, thankfully. It's nothing too complicated. I uh, typically have joysticks to do this with, but it seems like this one is specifically numpad only. It won't let me control the, uh, I want to control this with a joystick, which is very odd. Oh boy. Went a little too head on with that one, huh? All right, so we'll sp we'll spin it around here. Just kind of tackle this guy. Oh jeez, it's fighting back. Hang on. The day the Earth stood still and fought back. Hopefully that yeah gets me out of there. All right, uh, let's lift the blades on this and get it out. I hope the, all these little businesses don't mind me just putting machines down at the pathway of everything. All right, um, so we need to bring all this stuff here. And we also got a scale point, so let's go ahead and just spend that now. Um, I'm going to just get as much money as I can. All right, so we need to bring materials here, so let's go ahead and... A little too much there. Um, looking good there. Looks like that's going to be it. And then we'll just have this delivered here. Uh, did it not get delivered? Mm. It's all right there, isn't it? Oh, no. Did I send it somewhere else? No. It's right here. Why is it saying deliver it, though? Let's take a look here. Unless it's, like, off to the side or something? Uh, let's take a look here. Contract. Or is it just complaining about gravel delivery? I don't know. Here's where it wants them. Hmm. Let's take a look. Um, Silver. Yeah, the development's done. Uh, materials. Did I not buy them or something? Did I mess something up here? No, because it says here, if I go into Warehouse, World. But where to put all of them? So let's go ahead and actually just get out the vehicles that we need for this. I thought there was a... um. I am very confused because I thought it would have just brought everything here. Unless it's upset because I haven't laid the gravel first. So let's just get this here and then we'll get the gravel actually. Um, so let's see. It wants us to use a dump truck. Uh, so let's take a look here. I just need dumpers, 
Is that what they call them? Or they call them dump? Yeah, dumpers. <laughs> um, it wants me to use articulated dump truck right here. Um, both the same. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and jump in it. And we'll get our butts down to here and get it filled up. Now, I just learned how to fill this up. And boy, oh boy, it was crazy. So in order to kind of get back into the game, I decided to start a session right before this and just try to get used to everything. And it was bad. I couldn't remember any of the controls. I've spent so much money on buying things I didn't need or things are the wrong things. Like, I had a lot to learn. All right. Um, so it wants us to bring gravel. So let's go ahead and dump our, get our truck in here. Uh, just a little bit more. And I don't know how much we'll need, so we'll go ahead and just try to fill this bad boy up a little bit. Oh, don't want to be missing any. Uh, let's see you. Some right here. All right. Hopefully that's enough. We'll take this down to here then. And now that we're here, it's going to want us to put it through this path right here. So I'll actually just back myself in and then we'll lower it and kind of walk it a little bit. Now, I don't know where you're from, but if you have a gravel driveway, typically they try their best to just kind of dump it and move forward so they don't have to do much work uh, when it comes to uh, spreading it out. So we'll kind of try to do the same here. And I know it's just a video game, so we'll have to uh, kind of do this. Looks like we're running out. So we'll probably have to grab more. And that's not a problem. So in order for the sanctity of... Uh, no, you know what? We'll actually we'll head over there and grab a new thing of it. Because I don't need that much and I don't want to spend all that money. Try to save a dime or two here. Um, so we'll actually take it back down and get it filled up with some more. Now what you could do is opt to have it deliver or have it filled up right then and there. Uh, I cost a little bit extra. Um, so we don't need to worry about that. We'll actually just head down here and fill it up ourselves. You see there's the mine over there. Alright, so let's slow down a little bit. And we'll get in here. We'll tell it to start pouring. All right, hopefully that'll do okay. And then what we'll do is we'll actually just uh, drive forward instead of backing up on the path. I feel like I put more down, but I guess not. <laughs> All right. Uh, so here we go this way. And looks good. Um, all right, so it wants us to clear the construction site, so we'll actually get this guy settled in and drive back here. And we'll just keep the truck in case we need it for anything else for today. Oh, slow down, slow down. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Um, compact the gravel, so what that means is we need a ruler, correct? Yeah. Um... So we'll head up here, flip it over, and I guess we're just looking for rollers. 
Motor graders? Hmm. Asphalt compactors. Uh, gee. Yeah, there's... Okay, so you could filter on job. Okay, that's a lot easier. So it wants me to get a soil compactor, it looks like. Okay. Uh, anything in particular? They all look about the same here. Just grab this guy. Uh, let's see. Hop in him. And then we'll ship him down here as well. Um, maybe someday we'll look at trying to do a realistic playthrough uh, with this. But for now, I'm just going to do it the easy way. Everything's shipped down. Um, more of to keep my own sanity than anything. If I start playing in games as super realistic with loading them in trucks and moving them down, uh, either... I have found a new bliss in my life, and I'm spreading it through that, or I've gone off the deep end and someone needs to save me. Alright, so we are here. Let's turn the compact on. And we'll start rolling here. And we'll try our best to keep it in the lines. Let's back the camera out a little bit. And we'll get to the end here. Do is just drive up. And then let's back up. Try to make this as quick and easy as possible. And I didn't realize I had to turn the compactor on, but we'll just act like I uh, did this all on purpose. There we go. I wonder how much it's going to make me actually compact before it just gives it to me. Because this isn't a terrible job to do, so they might try to make you do pretty much all of it. And then what we're going to opt to do instead is just run over and start it back up. Now it seems like traffic's shut off, thankfully. So I'm not going to be destroying anybody. All right, and get ready. There we go. Sounds perfect. Compacting that right into the ground there. Yeah, so it looks like it's gonna make me pay for forgetting to do that first swoop there. That's not a problem. So we'll just do a big U-turn and get this back over there. Now what I'm also going to do really quick is tell it to stop trying to lead me somewhere else. <laughs> it's just annoying when those arrows are flashing all the time. Alright, compactor is back on and we are going to go at it right here. Alright, looks good there. So we'll just go ahead and stick him somewhere. Now i got to go figure out what happened with all this material and stuff. Did it deliver somewhere else and I just gotta ship it, bring it over? Um, let's see here. I guess the first thing I need to do is, so... Warehouse, this is all in the world, it's saying. Uh, but where is it all in the world at? If it... Warehouse, okay. Good issues, delivered to the site, except where does it get delivered to? All right, there must be an alternative area that's putting these in that. Oh, this is it right here. That's my fault. Y'all can make fun of me. Put it in the comments. I'm blind as a bat sometimes. Um, so what we're going to do is actually just hop in uh, my flatbed here. And can I not? Uh, I'm hoping I can kind of cheese this and just uh, swing it from one side to the other. <laughs> um, so we'll kind of line our truck up with the mats here. 
for the most part. All right, uh, and then let's go ahead and get this in the crane mode. All right, let me grab my sticks here and then we'll get going. Yeah, we can cheese this, although this is a lot that we're going to be bringing over. All right, uh, let's see. Yep, extend. And then we'll kind of just swing this around. And then it is very hard to work a camera with this thing. There we go. So we will just do this to kind of get everything up and over there quickly. Hopefully we don't hit that light or anything. <laughs> just as soon as I said it too. All right, uh, so let's see here. Turn this a little bit. Stand and drop. Nope, that's not where you go. Oh, it doesn't even want this yet. Uh, can I just put it here for now then? That's my fault. I thought I wanted everything. Uh, it wants some uh, rebar. One more thing, a rebar. Can't see here. All right, one more thing, a rebar. I probably will have to grab that pallet. Oh, jeez. Oh, and uh, put it back. Slowly and steady. All right, drop it. All right, we'll grab this pallet of wood and just get it out of there in case. Sometimes the game will freak out and be like, oh my gosh, I can't do anything until you get that out of there. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. We'll shuffle it in and try to just drop it down here. Oh, come on. Come on. Thank you. All right, uh, what else do we need? Bulk material transport sacks. So let's grab that. And those appear to be right here. Get that up and swing. All right, and that's going to go further. Oh, just about right there. All right, let's swing this back up and over. Oh, hey, look at that. That's really nice. Okay. I'm down with that. Just swing these wildly into the air. Hopefully, don't get in trouble. No contract violations for that. Uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we need two things of paving stones and one pallet of concrete bags. So this looks like it's the concrete bags. Just one thing of it. Okay. And then I believe those blue boxes right there are the paving stones. But this is a little tucked in here. Now the not fun thing is it takes forever for this uh, crane to feed back in. Alright. And then we gotta get these. I guess there's a setting that maybe makes it a little bit quicker, but I try to play a little bit serious for the most part. But I don't want my time wasted at the same time. I'm not going to sit here and take three hours to truck things back and forth and stuff like that. I I respect my time too much as a father <laughs> uh, to do stuff like that. And I respect your time too much to try to make you guys actually watch all that. All right. Uh, last one here and then we'll get going on the next step. Hopefully no more hiccups where I act like a complete fool. And we gotta feed this back in. All right, come on. Oh, this one's really close. Oh, just enough. All right, uh, so it wants us to unpack. So we'll go over here and unpack everything. All right, perfect. Uh, poor concretes and poor fountain. Okay. Now, what does it want us to use for that? 
It just wants us to use a concrete mixer. Just seeing here. No, nope, don't need to do anything there. Okay, so it just wants a regular concrete mixer. We can do that. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to use a mixer and pump. I'm just going to use a regular mixer. Although it would be easier with this thing. Hmm. Should we do it? Uh, just thinking off the top of my head. Let's just do it. I've done it before. So let's see, we'll get in it. We'll get it filled up. Um, let's be lazy. And we'll actually just bring it here and fill it up. So yeah, I'll, I'll opt to use this because there's so much that we have to cover. I don't want to drive around with a little dinky, uh, uh, concrete thingy trying to do all of it by driving around shuffling my uh, shuffling my chute everywhere all right so that's in that mode let's go ahead and fill her up and then all right looks good so let's actually go ahead and get the boom the booms up and I wonder how far this thing goes. We're going to find out here in a second. And even if it doesn't go that far, it's still a lot easier than... Uh... Alright, now why don't you want to... Do I have to turn you? I'm just going to turn this so it's easier for me to use. All right, so we can reach pretty far with this, which is nice. And we can always uh, move around as needed. All right, so let's go ahead and start pouring then. The concrete from the, oh, I gotta turn the pour on, which then should turn this on okay so let's go ahead and start filling all this up and we're just going to try to fill it as much as we can wherever we can reach now ideally Kind of get this all done in one go, but we'll find out. I think the fountain's over there, so we're going to have to move no matter what for that. But in the meantime, we'll try to get all this filled in like a gigantic puzzle. Alright, so let's go ahead and fix our camera really quick, and we'll just do like a side shuffle here. There we go. That's a lot easier. And we'll kind of slowly do it. And you can see the concrete meter going up pretty quick now. So thankfully we're not going to have to sit here and do a million different things to get it filled up all the way. But we are going to have to... Uh, whoops. So one thing you can do is just reset your vehicle to quickly uh, move things around here. All right, and then we'll get stationed up here. And hopefully we're not too close. Sometimes you can actually be too close. And that's no bueno. That makes your life a ton, oh, way harder than it should be. All right, uh, so let's see here. This is good, I think. All right, while we're actually getting this, we'll actually get this turned on. Oh yeah, this looks perfect. Alright, great. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this pouring on and we'll get in there. 
and just give it the big old money shot of concrete. Alright, let's extend the boom a little bit. Oh, someone's honking. Probably not happy. Alright, can I... Here's going to be the big question. How am I going to get that? This might be a situation where I actually got too close. Oh, wait, no. There we go. I can kind of do that to bring it in. Not the easiest move to pull off, but we got it done. Alright, so we need to clear the marked area. Uh... Who's in the marked area? So it's saying my flatbed, my ruler, and my concrete. Okay. All right, that looks good. We'll get the flatbed out. I'll just reset it. Whoops. Oh, wow, that's very, very specific about where everything is. All right, and then with the rollers next. Oh, look at that, I was just inches in there. All right. Deliver and unload sand, okay. Um, so let's actually, let's try this out. Let's take this up here. Now I want to sell what I have in my truck. I've never done that before, and I don't know where to do it at. Um, I don't know if there's like a thing down here, so let's just quickly try it. And if we don't, oh, it could be right here. This honestly makes the most sense to me, because you just go over the uh, pit here and dump it. But we'll find out here in a second. Game's gonna be like, get out of here, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I don't think that was the right place. That's okay. Bulk materials can only be unloaded at construction sites and the gravel plant. Okay, well, it took all my stuff. It doesn't care about me. I wonder if that means you have to go down there. Oh, no. There we go. Well, that just took a while. That was weird. All right, so sand is the inside lane here. Oh, it's right there. Okay. That makes sense that it's right on top of it. Ready for the camera to be uncomfortably close. All right. We'll request that it start filling up. I don't know if it's like a bad thing to fill it up like that. All right. So now it's saying that the machine is full. And we can head down here. Give it a shot and see what happens. All right, where does it want the sand at? Well, you should probably... Oh. Oh, you see that? It's like in that little area right there. Are they making, like, a sand pit? I don't know. Alright, so what the... Kind of back this in. Be careful, I want the game freaking out. Hmm. I should have started up there first, but... We can fix that. Oh, so you do lose a little out of the back. Thankfully, we're in the area that we need to be, so... If you're not using a gated dump truck, then you could potentially lose material. So we will kind of do that. Oh, I'm just like a little bit off, really? Oh, that's frustrating. Ugh. And I really don't want to waste any more time running around here, so let's request another sand fill up. Jeez, that really fills that up to the brink, huh? 
All right. We'll get the truck out of here for now. Hopefully we can make some money back on that. Oh, I got to level up? Okay. Let's get this guy out of here, and then we need to deliver stuff all the way there, so that means what we're going to have to do is um, grab it, put it on the truck, and bring it over. Um, Let's see here. Not worried about driving. I am worried about wear, wear and tear, though. Um, crane speed sucks. Let's invest in that for now. All right, and we need to jump on our flatbed, and we need to go pick up everything, or mostly everything, probably. Um, so rebar, concrete. It looks like that's going to be everything. Uh, four, five, six, four, two, four, six. Oh, there's one that's going to be sitting out. Okay. All right, let's drop the uh, puts here and see what happens. Um, so let's see here. We'll just go with the list from top to bottom. Come on. I know you want to unfold. Alright, so rebar is the first thing, put that right there. Now does it want a pallet of strand boards? Looks like, I don't know which one's which though. So let's take a look here, maybe this can help us. Uh, these are wood ceiling elements, okay, and these are the oriental strands, okay. So it doesn't want the roof stuff right there. Okay. All right, come on. I just bought a speed increase. Help me out. Ideally, that's a little bit more over here. Thank you. Might have to make multiple trips just for this. No bueno in my opinion, but hey. That's what they want you to do, it looks like, unless we had a bigger hauler. Let's lower this down. Whoops. I want this. Oh, wait, I can stack. Okay. If I can stack, then we're okay. So what I'm going to try to do then is get that over here. I might have to drag it for a second. And then let's lift up a little bit. There we go. Lower. Perfect. All right. Um, so that was the concrete and I think the orient oriented strand boards. Okay. Um... I don't think I, I don't need the roof stuff, so I think I just need pallet of wood and the wood beams right here, and then we're good to go. All right, so let's see here. Get my camera in a better spot so I can actually see what's going on. And we're just gonna grab that for now. We'll get that settled in there. And we'll grab the matching one here. There we go. Come on. I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm Wilson in uh, Independence Day, trying to figure out how to control the uh, spaceship. There we go. All right, this last one. Hopefully, I can get it somewhere. I might have to turn it a little bit. So we'll lift that up, and we'll see here. Can we? Get it to fit, like, right around. Will it accept me? That's my question. Or is it going to be a punk? Let's see. I need you to go down. Uh, let's just run with that. Let's just run with that, and hopefully it works. We'll see if it gets mad about anything. Okay. 
I'll try to sneak it over there without getting in trouble. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to cut the corner here. And then just park like right here. All right, wait for the footers to go down and then we'll get this unpacked. And we'll just try to grab these ASAP right here. Oh, lift this up. There we go. Let's hope we can get this out of here. Without too much hassle. Okay, perfect. All right. So that was really good, only going to be the hard, that was like the only hard part of this. It's just trying to get that out of there. And so we got to put all these in here. Definitely a job for the ages. I mean, they are making sure we work. All right, let's see. We need to grab one of these. And this appears to go over here. We'll uh, take it to the furthest position. And geez, when I say furthest, we really have to reach to get this one in here. Like using the full extent of the R. All right. All right. Bring it back in. So then we'll grab the other boards too, because it looks like it's going to go right there with it. Oh, got lift. There we go. And then I don't know if that's concrete or the boards that's going right next to the rest of these right there. It's going to be the boards because I could see the concrete silhou silhouette on the right side of my truck. So let's go ahead and just grab those then and then we'll get the concrete out of here with the rebar. All right, so let's see. How do I get this? Well, just start with the rebar because that's going to be the quickest thing to grab. All right. Uh, come on. There we go. Bring it back in. And then we'll have to do like a weird dip dive move here. You can hear my crane just dying inside as I'm trying to get it all moved around here. All right, and then extend it. All right, great. Uh, so we're almost done with this. I wonder what the next step's going to be. Uh, we are at stage F. I feel like we're going to have to be getting close soon. All right, and then we need to tilt this in. There we go. Fix my camera a little bit so I can see. Pool party. Hot dog hot spot. Okay, I'm just looking at the names finally of the shops around here. I want to go to hot dog hot shop. Hot hot spot. <laughs> All right, so it wants us to get my truck out of here now. So as soon as the footers are up, we'll go flying out of here. All right, looks good. It wants me to go. Uh, unpack these, and maybe we'll head over to Hot Dog Hotspot after this. Nice right, so we'll kind of indiscriminately cut the rebar. All right, looks good. And then we'll indiscriminately cut the uh, wooden pat wooden planks. Oh, cool! Look at that. Uh, so how do we do this? Uh, I don't have to bring a pillar, or I don't have to bring a crane, I should say. Oh, it wants me to use, uh, wants me to use my, uh, flatbed. Okay. Oh, uh, it's going to have me have that, bring that whole thing up too, so I might as well just, uh, back out now. Um, will this actually get put down correctly? Yes, it will. All right, cool. 
So, oops. Uh, I meant to bring that in. I meant to extend the arm, not. I meant to unfold it, not extend it into the ground there. Wonder why the. Uh... There we go. Oh, I hope this can. Oh, I hope this can make it. If not, we're going to have to turn the truck around. Oh, come on, reach. No. All right. That's my fault. We're going to have to turn the truck and back it in. Man, those mats are heavy duty, I tell you what. Sounds like my truck's on a break trying to drive over them. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and back this in. And then we'll straighten it up a little bit so we're not on top of the roof of the patio or the gazebo, whatever we're going to call it. All right, hopefully my footers fit in here. Looking good. All right. Wait. Oh. No, it's upset at me. I wonder if it's because it's uneven. So let's try to make it as even as we can. Now that should all go on the pavement there. Okay, nice. Alright, hopefully we can actually reach it now. Oh, I'm going to be so mad if I can't. Start with the furthest one just to make sure. Yes, okay. Alright, this should be a quick job then. Oh, going out instead of in. There we go. Just trying to make sure we going to grab whatever I can. <laughs> All right. Bring this in. Then slowly but surely, huh? Okay. We'll grab their last one and then it should be the roof, which will be easy. Oh. There's a car flying by me in the game. Alright, cool. So last but not least, you need a roof. Oh, geez. It is not happy with my decision to lift it that high. <laughs> All right, that is done. Precast element. Wait, what? Oh, do I gotta put those in there? Yeah, it looks like it's a crane job. Um, just trying to think of the best way to do this. Yeah, so it looks like I gotta pick those blocks up and put them in here. For what? Oh, there is a crane right there. But they're not saying to. Um... Oh, I need a big boy crane. The transport. Okay. Um. So let's get this guy out of here, and then we'll actually just rent a uh, quick and easy crane, rather than trying to rent another truck. All right, uh, let's see here. Just need a cheap one. Yeah, we don't need anything serious for this. Um, uh, yeah, set it up, please. Thank you. Now, don't you try to do that. All right, this one isn't uh, too bad to work with. It's just making sure your camera's in the way that you understand the orientation. If you don't do that, then you're going to be all over the place. 
All right, so let's see. Line it up. Gotcha. Good grab. Well, it's one, the only problem I have with this uh, these types of cranes is I always forget what goes forward, what goes up, down, and what goes forward back. I usually get them mixed up right after I grab something. All right. So we'll just keep grabbing these on the closest and dragging them over. Oh, I got afraid for a second I was going to hit those and I'll knock them down. It'd be funny if they did something like that in the game, but very frustrating at the same time. Alright, uh, let's see. It'll be a nice little uh, area to sit once it's in. I'm not worried about putting it in there like it's supposed to be. I'll just, as soon as it turns green, I'm going to drop it so it goes into place. Oh, there we go. I love this crane in this game. If they could, if they paid me how much I make for my current job, I'd love to operate a crane all day like this. All right, uh, let's get a target on it. wonder what else I think. Oh, so we got to do a special delivery after this. Oops. See, that's what I meant. I went down instead of out. Got that in there. All right, let's get this over here. Now, I love it because the little ground bar will, little ground meter will uh, light up green when you're uh, over the hook spot, which is very, very nice. I really appreciate whoever put that in there. Oops, dragging it across the freshly paved ground. Oh, why aren't you going in there? Why are you being weird? Don't know why he's being weird. Unless something else goes there. Just grab that on the fly. Yeah, I don't know why he wasn't willing to go down there. Whatever, we'll just do everything else and then try to fit in there. Alright, let's see. Get in there. Hook. Oh, there you go. And last but not least, but let's get this over here and be done with this crane. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, we still got more to do. Okay. Oh, we're making steps. Okay. Um. Oops. I thought it was just that wall. I right, bring it up, and then we'll bring it over. Oh, is it going to have us do the other stuff too over there? No, we'll see. Call me Bob. I'm 300 pounds with a big belly. And boy, do I like talking crap about non-construction workers. That's how good I am at this game. No, no, that's actually true. That was a joke. Oh, you're not latching? That was too uh, low. Perfect. And last but not least on this one, and then we'll be done, hopefully, with this brain. The stairs to nowhere, though. That's kind of weird. I'm sure I'll turn into something as soon as I'm done. Alright. Oh, a large container. Okay. Uh... I have to go get the container, huh? All right, let's hop out of this. Um, geez, Louise, large container. I'll have to keep the crane here then. Oh, we have to use a mobile crane for this. Oh, this is awkward. 
Um, all right, let's get rid of all the stuff we don't need then. Oops. The reason I'm doing it is because I just don't want extra charges for things I'm not using. And then there's a crane somewhere all the way over here. Hmm. I can't fast travel, so actually what we'll do... So what we're going to do is we're going... I keep hearing the money thing, and it freaks me out. All right, machines. Okay. I need to get to my vehicles. And then what we'll do is we'll hop in this truck and drive over there. And then if we need when we need to rent the crane, we'll just fast travel it over there. All right, so let's see here. And we'll take our nice, beautiful truck over. Now, I am a terrible driver in this game, so please... Don't judge. <laughs> I am not good at this. I actually had to turn off traffic violations in the game because I was getting a lot of violations when I first started. So I found that setting and immediately uh, turned it off. I'd be losing money hand over fist. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually find this spot and then all right so this is the steel container and I guess it wants me to use a mobile crane to bring it over so let's see here all right uh, mobile cranes all right so here's the mobile cranes Okay. All right, I got the mole crane. So let me see here. Now I got to bring it over here, but do I got to haul this thing the whole way? What am I doing? I have to get a truck too, right? I can only assume I have to. Yeah, multi-trailer. Makes sense. Um, does that mean I can hook the crane up to the trailer? So let's see here. Let's head into here. Um, and what do I need? All right, so I need to F and G. All right. Uh. It was saying this one, so let's just rent this right now. Now, can I hook up? Does the trailer hook up to this? Let's go find the trailer really quick. Or do I have to get a semi to uh, bring it in? I think I'm going to have to get a semi to bring it in. Yeah, because that does not look like I can hook up to it. Yeah. Okay. So, let's fast travel down here. All right. And this will just leave here for now because I need to go up here and rent a big truck to haul that dang thing. All right, uh, so we got that. We'll hook that trailer up and then we'll get it down. All right, so we're going to hook that trailer up to this and get it down there. I don't think that the crane can, uh, I don't think the crane on this thing could do anything. You know, I thought this was going to be a little bit faster. That was my fault. All right, come on. 
All right, then we gotta start swinging it. Whoa, camera's going a little crazy about that. Oh, calm down. All right, that's hooked up, so let's get it down here. So we should put the, what we should do is put the truck here. Right next to it. Oops. Yeah, we'll just uh, straighten that up just a little bit. Close enough. Uh, let's see. We'll send this back to the place, and then we'll grab this mobile crane. Now, I've never used the mobile crane before, but I assume it works like a flatbed crane. We just reach and grab. So what we'll do is we'll park it right here, and I assume there's footers on this thing. All right. So, let's see, how does this work? All right. So that goes up, what extends? Yep, okay. Yeah, so it works just like the flatbed crane here. So let's go ahead and we gotta go up. There we go. All right, and then we'll lift this up and we'll bring it in. Hopefully we're high enough. Oh, nice. I'll say yes to that. All right. Um, what do we need to do then? We need to get this all shipped down there. So we'll say here, and then we'll fast travel this down. Not on the whole. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but hopefully and there's not something I'm missing where you're supposed to like... Uh, Go down there, and then you can fast travel the cars really quick. All right. Um. Oh, jeez, please. Oh no. I'm gonna jackknife it. Let's fix that. All right, and then I assume that I can just bring my crane down and unload it. All right, we got the crane down here, so let's go ahead and we'll yank the. Uh, crate off and then we'll uh, put it in its place. Why did we bring that stack of wood right there if we never used it? Am I missing something? Uh, is this going to let me settle right here or is it going to be mad? Oh, we're good. Alright, uh, so let's see here. So let's bring that down. Looks like we still got some length on it, so we're good there. And then lift it up and stretch further. And drop this down. All right, perfect. All right, so we need to clear the construction site. I think we're honestly done with the jobs. Let's double check. Debriefing. Yes, okay. So we'll actually... Anything we didn't rent, we'll uh, send off, and then we'll return everything we did rent. All right, and then wants us to talk to the, uh, the tourism officer. Okay. All right, how's it look? With this new look, the beach promenade is ready to be featured in any tourist brochure again. Hey, there we go. I hope that soon it will return to being the popular strolling area for tourists and residents that it used to be. I'll hire a photographer immediately, since... We now have to focus on promoting this city. It looks like she's looking at me cross-eyed. <laughs> you and your team. You really did a great job here. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, so let's see. Is it going to... Yeah, there it is. It's all cleaned up. Uh, except for that. That's kind of a weird idea. But we'll take a look here. It looks like a fire. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Everyone's hanging out now. Unicorns. All right, so let's go ahead and take a peek ourselves. Oh, so that was a planter area so they could put trees in. Okay. And then this turned into a restaurant, I guess. Okay. 
opening restaurants when there's a million there's some right behind it that's even the worst part they're bringing in crates to open restaurants when there's a restaurants right here all right so yeah everyone looks happy I'm excited for them a playground for the kids a hot dog stand in front of a crate with pallets in front of it here's the fire there's all the gazebos oh great Where's my hot dog shop at? Oh yeah, here it is. The hot dog hotspot. I'm jealous. I want to be there right now. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for today then. Uh, we'll get going. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I really have fun playing these construction games. Anything involving big trucks <laughs> really uh, gets me going, I guess. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please, if you enjoyed this, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Anything kind of helps uh, grow the channel, helps keep these episodes coming. Uh, so once again, thank you so much, and please have a great day. Bye.